This is the successor to the Geoni eLife E7, which was launched way back in 2013, and you are looking at the new Geoni eLife E8. It's big, it has the power, and it captures some great pictures. And yes, it costs around 35,000 rupees, actually one rupee less. So I have realized that I haven't really reviewed a big smartphone, an expensive smartphone for a long time. And people had already started calling me a budget reviewer, which is in many ways true because I also live on a very tight budget. So this week I am going to review Geoni eLife E8. It's a 6 inch phablet and uh, my eyes have just gone used to it and I've been using it and I'm trying to figure out where am I going to put this phone man. Juni eLife E8 is a big phone. We get a 6 inch Super AMOLED display with 2K resolution. The display has a little warm tone as compared to say a Galaxy S6. Also it's a little less brighter than the Galaxy S6. But having said that, it's a bright display. The colors are punchy and vibrant and the viewing angles are good. To hold the big screen together there is a metal frame while the rest of the body is made up of premium plastic. These days you unlock the phone using a fingerprint scanner and the fingerprint scanner on the E8 is pretty accurate. Hold the big phone in one hand and use the other to use it because that's how you do it. Juni has this time gone for the MediaTek processor. Powering the phone is an octa-core 2.0 GHz Helio X10 CPU along with 3 GB of RAM. It's the same processor that powers the much expensive HTC One M8. It's a powerful combination that will take care of your regular tasks like web surfing, video streaming, apps and game playing. Multitasking with 10 to 15 apps open shouldn't be a problem. Played game for a long long time and didn't face any frame drop or any heating issues as such. So you get 64 GB of internal storage which is good and you can expand it to up to 128 GB via micro SD card slot which is awesome because of course with this big a phone and a bright display you would want to watch videos and you would want to watch movies and you would want to save them frankly speaking I've just been watching videos and playing game on this phone I don't know what else to do Amigo 3.0 is Journey's custom UI on top of Android 5.1 Lollipop. It's a neat and clean UI with some customization like no app drawer, notification drawer is from bottom to top and some more. There are many handy pre-installed apps from Journey that you can use. The camera is the highlight of the E8. You get a 24 MP camera with dual tone LED flash. So besides the big pixels you also get a couple of nifty features as well like lossless zoom while you zoom in by 4x without getting any blurs. Also, you can focus fast, so point and shoot. The image quality is impressive indeed under sunlight and it's not that bad for low light photography as well. And talking about the front 8MP camera, well, it does a good job with those selfies. time to close all the unnecessary apps hmm. they put a lot of stress on the battery so yes with all those apps running web surfing video watching listening to music clicking pictures the battery is about 50 percent so i think it will just about last you the day 3500 mAh battery is what you get inside this so the reason you will buy this phone is because it's big it's got a good display you would want to watch videos the performance is nice camera is also good enough and the competition is the Samsung Galaxy A8. You have the Moto X style, which is pretty good. You also have the LG G4 and the HTC One M8. And yeah, so the competition is quite big and lots of good phones out there. So I'm sure it's pretty confusing for you. So we should do a comparison real soon, right? We will. <laughs> Ni 
जहाँ तक याद याद आती रहेगी 